My name is Steven Pinker. I am a cognitive scientist who teaches in the Department of Psychology at Harvard University. And I've written a book called The Better Angels of Our Nature, A History of Violence and Humanity, which documents that violence has been in decline over long stretches of time and tries to explain this historical development in terms of an interplay between the impulses in human nature that impel us toward violence and the components of human nature that inhibit us from violence, that is, the better angels of our nature. In writing this book, I have adopted a voice that is analytic and at times irreverent because I believe the topic has inspired too much piety and not enough understanding. But at no point have I been unaware of the reality behind the numbers. To review the history of violence is to be repeatedly astounded by the cruelty and waste of it all, and at times to be overcome with anger, disgust, and immeasurable sadness. I know that behind the graphs, there is a young man who feels a stab of pain and watches the life drain slowly out of him, knowing he has been robbed of decades of existence. There is a victim of torture whose contents of consciousness have been replaced by unbearable agony, leaving room only for the desire that consciousness itself should cease. There is a woman who has learned that her husband, her father, and her brothers lie dead in a ditch and who will soon fall into the hand of hot and forcing violation. It would be terrible enough if these ordeals befell one person, or ten, or a hundred. But the numbers are not in the hundreds, or the thousands, or even the millions, but in the hundreds of millions, an order of magnitude that the mind staggers to comprehend with deepening horror as it comes to realize just how much suffering has been inflicted by the naked ape upon its own kind. Yet while this planet has gone cycling on according to the fixed law of gravity, that species has also found ways to bring the numbers down and allow a greater and greater proportion of humanity to live in peace and die of natural causes. For all the tribulations in our lives, for all the troubles that remain in the world, the decline of violence is an accomplishment we can savor and an impetus to cherish the forces of civilization and enlightenment that have made it possible. I'm interested in human nature, in what makes people tick, and how the mind works. And with that interest, you can't avoid the topic of violence. It's been a, a controversy that's raged for centuries, whether people are uh, basically violent or basic, basically peaceable. My own view is that human nature is complex, so there's no answer to that question because we have both uh, systems of the brain that can uh, uh, impel us toward violence, but also systems in the brain that inhibit us from violence. As someone interested in, in uh, taking the lid off the, the brain and seeing uh, how, how it works, uh, I wanted to identify both uh, components of human nature. Most people think that the world is getting more violent because the violence that does occur is more thoroughly covered by the media and we care about it more, uh, but most people are, are mistaken. Uh, this is uh, a fact that ought to get out and it is a challenge for a psychologist to try to explain it. The Better Angels of Our Nature tells its story with graphs and statistics. I also wanted to have multiple sanity checks, that is, uh, reassurances from qualitative phenomena, things that we, we, we know about, that we can, we've been told about, we can see with our own eyes, to, uh, uh, to verify the uh, numerical trends. Because as a scientist, you always have to be careful that you're not being misled into some preposterous conclusion by some flaw in your data that you've overlooked. You want to tie it back to, to uh, uh, real-world phenomena. And in my case, these were phenomena in our historical record that indicate that, yeah, in the past, things really were pretty violent. And one, uh, one source of examples is one familiar to everyone, namely the Bible. And uh, the Bible is just one long celebration of violence. In fact, the Bible even begins on a note of horrific violence. In that when Cain slew Abel, the, uh, there were only four people alive in the world at the time, Adam, Eve, Cain, and Abel, and one of them killed another. So that's a homicide rate of 25 percent, one that dwarfs even uh, the, the worst countries today. It's a great thrill and honor to be shortlisted for the prize. This is my, uh, my fourth time. Uh, I'm not holding out uh, high hopes, having been uh, learned from experience never to count your prizes before they hatch. 
but, uh, but even to, to make the list is a, a tremendous recognition and I'm absolutely delighted by it.